Right, we're back again. That was a long run. I got out of bed late. I'm normally up at five to come here. I didn't get out of bed till about half six, so I've just got here now. And it is half twelve. Tide's on its way in. Big spring tide this weekend. Big full moon. So, I haven't been here for... I can tell. September, I think, was the last time. I was here. I got two days in September. So, over the last... 18 months with all this COVID rubbish. I think I've been here for about four days. <laughs> Looks like I've left me more than boys tied well, look. Just so people know it's mine. Yeah, my bloody big hammer's still there. With the rusters handle. Let's have a walk around, see what we can see. So, obviously you can see where I started painting. Just an undercoat. It's all gonna be done. Someone's dumped loads of pallets, unless they're my old pallets that someone's fucking took and brought back. They look like they might be, anyway. Pallets are pallets, aren't they? I'll use them as a ladder. Right, where are we up to? The mast, I can see the mast has even painted on one side. So I'll flip the mast over and paint the other side. A couple of cobwebs, nothing spectacular. That blue paint. That blue paint, I should say, that's quite good. I'm happy with that. And that's it from the arse end. That ladder was tied up. So, kids have probably been on it. Again, not a problem, is it? So, yeah, that was, see all these bits of wire and that. That was tied up. So, it doesn't matter. So I can't do anything over there until the tide goes out, which is going to be about three or four hours. But it's not a problem, it's going to take me an hour to empty the car. I don't like the look of that. Oh, it's alright, it was just a shadow. It's just the way the shadow got it. Hmm, need to paint under that keel, so yeah, I paint all that, rub it all down. So basically, I can't remember for the life of me what it was I had to do, but I will figure it out. I think, oops, I think the first thing to do, obviously, I'll get on board, yeah, I'd even my own step ladder still there, I fell off that about five times, nearly broke my fucking neck, so, yeah, I'll get on it, and uh, unlock it all, unload the car, Put everything away and then I'll do a list. So I think the first thing will be possibly break out the jet wash and then borrow Dave's tower and set the tower up on the outside because I remember I had a little bit of fiberglass to do over there and I think I had to do a bit of fillering on that wing. On the wing, <laughs> on the bow, but I can't remember. I might have done it by the looks of it. I can't fucking remember. It's been 12 months or 8 months or whatever it's been. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Um, yeah, let's go and pull the car closer and uh, get on board and see what's going on. First problem of the day, my solar panel, my big ones at what one doesn't seem to be charging. And every time I come here, I forget something, so I've just had to borrow a little almost meter off my mate Dave. Uh, let me take these sunglasses off so I can see what I'm doing. Charge controller there says it's not getting anything going in, but there's six and a half volts in the charge. Yes, now either the charge controller's broke or there's no power going through. I need two hands for this, so how am I going to do that? I'm just going to have to turn it off. Right, first problem solved. Me cheap um, solar charger seems to have took the knock. So what I had done, I just had that hot wires into that 100 watt solar panel there all right and all temporary wired just to keep these batteries topped up over the winter and the idea is that they run the bilge pump it's not working so what i've done is i've just run a temporary wire 
through to the great big solar charge uh, controller which I haven't wired in permanent because I've got to put my fan up as well so I've just wired it in and actually right I'm getting 14 and a half volts going into the battery now off of the solar panel so that's good so we know, we know that big solar panel is working and if you put the multimeter on the solar panels putting out nearly 30 volts goes into here converts it to 12 volts and then through those wires charges the battery so i'll give that a couple of hours in the sunshine and then i'll get all that water pumped out in the meantime i want to have a, a good tidy up because when i left that's pretty much how i must have left it just bedding everywhere and um and stuff so i'm gonna have a good tidy up now and get everything ready to go and then i can start work once i'm done can't do much outside because the tide is in let's have a look big spring tide this weekend got a big full moon so like you say yeah look big spring tide so that's all good so i've just picked me jenny up i keep me jenny and me mates that's the stuff that i've brought with me that i've just thrown on deck so i'm gonna put them in the hatch um and start well tidy forward cabin just dropped everything in through the hatch so we'll have a bit of a tidy don't know where i'm going to put everything but uh, we'll show you what we've done so this is the before and in a couple of clicks we'll have an after there you go a forward bait um <coughs> about 18 months ago i measured all of these up sat and watched youtube and figured out how to make these cushion covers i'll probably redo them to be honest because they're a bit small um, but it's not bad for the first attempt i suppose but um yeah i'll take it apart that's where i'm that's the cabin i'm going to sleep in tonight but i'll set it up anyway tidy it up i'm going to stay in there tonight because my main cabin is full of rubbish so i'll set that one up and then I'll clean this one up and then I'll see I'll start working my way back and, and make it habitable because I'm here now for four or five days so that's going to be bedroom but anyway we'll sort that I've got set up one couch just so I've got somewhere to sit there's tools everywhere you look hoovers, drills screwdrivers, bits of wire loads and loads of cider and some comfort on the other couch I've got tools everywhere fucking rolls of fiberglass don't think you're supposed to sleep with that but it'll keep you warm Got a little stove on just to get a bit of heating. It's bastard freezing. Um, I've got a bit of ventilation, so I'm not worried about carbon monoxide. But I've set up my forward bunk, so I'll be in there in a bit, nice and warm and snuggly, like a snug and a bug in a rug, so I can stretch out in there. Once you get in bed and you get kitters off, it's actually quite warm. It's just now um, I've got no thermometer. But the air press is fine. We've got a nice warm day tomorrow. It's going to be lovely. The bitch of it is, right, the, the only thing that's really annoying me is... Oh, my solar panel charger thing. My charge controller broke. So I've got flat batteries. It's working now because I've plumbed it into the big one. I've wired the big one up. So, um, oh, that's bright, that light. Anyway, so I've got... I've got the batteries on charge and it'll just take a couple of days to charge up with the sunshine so it's one of them but the other thing I've done tonight um, is I have plumbed in all of the all the plumbing <laughs> I put new taps on brand new pair of taps I'll film that tomorrow when the uh, when the sun's up but I've now got running water right through the boat um, two taps in the kitchen two taps in the shower and one tap in the other side of those double doors there there's a toilet and there's a little sink in there with a hot water tap what i haven't done is plumb the gas in so obviously because it was dark by the time i'd finished and i want to check it for leaks and stuff make sure it's all sexy and good so what i'll do tomorrow is i will put the color gas on um put a bubbly water a bit of soapy water around the joint make sure it's 
secure and then obviously if it's secure I can get the gas on get the water on and uh, we should have hot water and if we've got hot water we've got a hot shower rather than a cold shower or um, fucking washing yourself down with a handful of baby wipes so anyway that's where we're up to I'm going to have another great big sudden comfort so oh I've only got a bit left looks like I'm drinking piss but I'm not So I'll have a great big sudden comfort because that helps me sleep. And then I'll get me a head down and have an early start tomorrow. Pity we can't get that lamp working up there. I need I need them fusey things that, that it sucks up, do you know what I mean? I know. I've put another coat of blue on the mast. I had to go into town and buy oh, <coughs> another litre. <coughs> oh, cause I run out. <coughs> Beds of shit on it already, look, bastards. So, let's add another coat of blue. And, um, oh, hang on a minute, it's fucking. What's going on there? That's Matt, not gloss. Why is that? Look at that, look, you got gloss there and matte there. Why is that matte? What's going on there? It's like the gloss finishes here. Hmm, strange. I'll have a look at that. I'll give it another coat all over and see what's going on. Anyway, so we've done that. And then I've put the first coat, obviously it's dead patchy because it's gone on with a roller. I've put the first coat of blue. This. So the plan is, all the soft stuff can be blue, but all the non-stick, uh, sorry, the anti-slip stuff, which is all this yellow there, because that's where I fiberglassed it in yellow, because that was what I had, and the white and the cream. This is all going to be pale blue. I can't paint it white because when the sun's on it, I can't see. So let me just move away a bit. That's as its first coat. So I say it's going to take about three coats I reckon to um, probably four coats I'll just keep putting it on till I run out I've only got a bit left anyway so that's what it looks like in white and that's what it looks like in blue I'm not sure to be honest but we'll see what it's like once it's all finished if I don't fucking like it I can paint over it again and keep changing it till I do I was your walk through. You can see where I put a zone with a roller look, some patches are well it's all patchy. But so was this when I done this. And believe it or not, that is the same paint as that. It's all the same paint, had the same tin. So this has about three coats and that's had one. So I'm just gonna keep going until I run out of paint. And then next time I'm up, I'll have two more barrels, but there's underneath look so the whole thing I'm not worried about mess, because obviously once it's done, start at the top, work your way down. What I'll do is I'll do all the top and then I'll do all the bottom tomorrow in the black and whatever I've got for the bottom paint. And then the final thing I'll do is I'll get the super duper, what's it called? Um, oh, the super duper masking tape, the frog tape. And then we'll do a nice water line right along it. So anyway, this is working our way back. I'm not sure I can still fit through there. Yes, I can, because I'm a skinny bitch in my dreams. And then we've done um, the back basically, not all of it obviously. And we got to there. So I'm just gonna go and get something to eat and then I will break out the rest of the tin um, and start down the other side and just get on with it. So yeah, slow, slow, but it's gotta be a job for about two years. I've got to drill these holes and fit that to the bottom of the hull. Fit these through holes. That one there, that little sensor tells you your speed over ground. And the other one is the depth and um, water temperature sender. A little sonar piece. Now, if I'd have remembered, 
I could have put this on. Have I googled that? So I can unscrew these and take that off. But I don't remember the silicon there. Yeah, I did the silicon there. Mm, never mind. Okay, so yeah, I've got to just do. Just get these in now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my fingers out the way and film it while I'm drilling. I don't think I will. I'll show you the aftermath. If I scream and shout and cry, I've got a 50 mil hole in the boat that I didn't want. There's my first hole, and as you can see by the size of the hole I've cut, me repair where I've rebuilt the whole bit. Man, I rebuilt all this. Look, is I'm guessing half an inch thick, I could get a, a gauge on it and measure it, but yeah, I've laid down about half an inch of fibreglass, obviously this bit here was all fucking smashed in, the repair goes back, you see much to that line there, so this is all scarfed, but yeah, so anyway, first hold's on, I'll get it all lined up and do the second one. Scary poo poo! At least now, if the boat fills with water, it's got somewhere to leave. Well, chaps, that was a scary ass job. Um, you can see this line here. That's that's old hull. This is my new hull that I've built, and obviously, all this I built myself from scratch. But it's actually. What I've laid down there, look, people say, oh, you, what do you mean you put that much fiberglass down? I've just put a measure, it's about 15 mil, yeah, it's my finger, look. It's my finger thick. My finger's about 15 mil. Maybe a bit more. I don't know, maybe a bit more. It doesn't matter anyway, it's fucking thick. So, I'm not going to do it now, because it's a two-man job. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll mark round it. Um, around that little boaty type shape thing and then I'll key it up with the grinder and go back to glass again because I've just painted all this um, and then what I'll do is I'll mix up a loads of resin with pals or with this paste like a filler paste and then I'll put the paste on I'll put it into place and then we can wind it up from the inside and tighten them up and obviously all these gaps here we'll fill with gook we get some decent gook something like Sikaflex um, and we'll gook it all in so it'll be solid. Now, once that's done, I'll then fiberglass that piece of wood from the inside. Sorry, fiberglass it over on the outside or just cover it all in resin again so that it's solid, it's watertight and it's away. And then one of them has got a little wheel on and that's the one that tells you your speed over grounds and things like that. Um, actually it's speed over water because you might not be going anywhere, the water might be flowing, you might be standing still but you might be doing five knots. Does that make sense? If you're in five knots of current, if you've got the water going, let's go that way, that's the front of the boat, if you've got the water going that way at five mile an hour and you are travelling that way at five mile an hour, you're not actually going anywhere, you're staying still over ground so your, your speed over ground would be zero but your speed over water would be five knots but anyway that's it's that's another fucking story for when you start your navigation stuff so anyway that's been giving me sleepless nights i'm not gonna lie i've been having seriously mega bump twitches over that but it's done now anyway so um i can get that sources and put that in I'm just sat on the floor right i painted this entire hull before front to back on both sides right down from the bow to the rudder to the stern <laughs> it took me two and a half hours my back is aching with a little tiny fatty roller that big so I've, i'm just trying to motivate myself to do the other side but what i might do uh, is do that hole there no i can't because i haven't jet washed it actually all, all the green and the yellow i haven't jet washed that side so i can't paint it um, because obviously you're just going to be painting all the shite so tide's coming in let's see what I've done wow we'll wait hang on a minute hello right while it's 
tide's coming in. I've got a, another hour. I'll pull about here. See if it'll zoom. Yeah, it will. Get my finger out of the way. I've mixed up a load of filler because there was a couple of little gouges. Not in big, but they were there all the same. Little gouges, just it wasn't right. So what I've done is I've mixed up a load of filler and put it on. And then obviously once it's set, which will be probably now actually, because it doesn't take long. It's fiberglass resin mixed with this special filler piles that are similar to Cavasil. Uh, anyway, so I'll sand all that smooth, all the sanders are over there somewhere. And then it can be painted, but there's no point bloody doing it because I haven't got any more blue paint. Um, and I've put, there's a few little spots on the hull, look. I've done them as well, so um, I can sand all of them and then you're away. But I've just got to look for things to do now. I'll go. I'll go and put the interior cabin back together, um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. My head's wrecked. My back's aching. I need a drink. I'm going to go and have a fucking pint of sudden cup. I think it's half seven. It's Sunday night. I've done four days hard graft on it, so I'm going to start putting everything away now. What have we done? You can't really see much from here. All the black that you can see on the bottom of the waterline, everything below the waterline, that's had another coat of thick black bottom paint some super duper waterproof loopy looper stuff um the ends of the bow there i'm not sure if it'll zoom in because i've got gloves on oh yeah yeah that's all been filled and sanded because that was a bit scabby all the rest of it's been filled and sanded so that's ready to paint but obviously I zoom out i've run out of blue paint so i can't paint anything now the plan is everything that's blue top deck all the smooth stuff is going to be dark blue. I'll go around, I'll show you how the bow is over there on the other bow. And then everything that's white at the moment, where it's non-slip, is going to be a pale blue similar to that thingy, but obviously a nicer blue. That's like Smurf shit blue, that one. So, yeah, for Roscoe, for Big Ross down in Australia, life on the hulls. You've only got two mates, I've got three. <laughs> Now you've got a project I wouldn't mind getting me teeth into, building my own, but obviously time, money, haven't got the time. <laughs> Most definitely haven't got the money for what this bloody thing has cost. But this is, that has three coats. And then obviously when we done the waterline, the masking tape we used was the most world's most shitty masking tape. So I'm not worried about that, it's cosmetic, I'll redo that. But we masked this up and we did like a, a blue and white combination and I've decided I'm going to change the white purely because well, it's like cream there's white when the sun's on it it just burns my eyes and I can't see so that's why we're going with the light blue so this all needs another coat so the mast is done the mast has about three coats of this um, Oxford blue I think it's called Royal Oxford blue there's a 50 foot mask and all the rigging there so that's all done the back end, obviously it looks rough because it's its first coat, so you can see where it's been rolled. So that's that done. There's a big stainless steel tube there which is just tied on. Let's do that one, Let's zoom in. See that tube that's just tied on there? That's where my fan goes, my big wind generator. The reason it's tied on is I'm just checking the position so as I can fiberglass the what do we call it? Fiberglass, the wooden base plate into the boat, and then obviously bolt it all down. But that's for next time I come. So, top of the mast. Not often you get a view like that. Uh, so all the wires are run for when I put my lights on. But I can't put the lights on now because I've no doubt some fucking kid will break them. So that's that. So this is the view from the rear end. Like I said, I've splashed a load of paint. All of the hull. All the bottom is black, looking sexy, ready for the anti foul You can see the difference, look. Just been painted, full of shite. Hasn't been washed, but obviously I'll get washed before I paint it. And the same with this hull. Now, if you go back through a couple of videos somewhere, I don't know where it is, it might be on Facebook, I don't know if it's on YouTube. Just there, there was some major damage. It looked like someone had hit it with an ax. Um, there was something, I can't remember what it was, right, but I cut out a panel, it's on, it's on a video somewhere, I cut a panel out about 18 inches square, 
so as I could get my hands in and glass it from the inside and out and then obviously I put the panel back and faded it and glassed it and layered it and I can't even see it now, I can't find the thing so I'm quite happy with that repair that's looking quite good so this is where you bang your head now, crawling underneath oh fucking hell I'm not moving forwards these are the holes I cut oh, I cut them earlier on now this, I've got like a boat shaped piece of timber that goes on there and then the two the holes go through so the Raytheon fittings one of them is your depth sounder your depth sensor and temperature sensor and that and the other one is the little spinny wheel that tells you your speed so that was a bit of a nightmare but like I say this hole this is all built by me this was just a bloody big hole so you can see how much fiberglass I've put down I might have went a little bit too big to be honest because it's about it's about 18 fucking mil it's about three quarters of an inch thick so I'm not worried about that for the people who haven't seen other videos that lintel there right that used to be part of the Liverpool Cathedral one of the lads said if you ever do go to ground get a bit of timber on the bottom and it can sit on the timber so obviously all this here that's about an inch thick and that piece of timber is part of the Alcatizel, which I managed to cop for. Put a couple of quid in the swear box. Oh yeah! Gemma, off ship happens. If you need a new toilet, I've got a spare toilet there. You'll have to get some new seals for it. But yeah, if you want to, if you need a spare head or a spare bog, let me know. I've got a spare one there. I think it's Jab's go. So it's just sat there. I've got two ones inside. So. That's the big canoe. So I'll start putting everything away. And uh, I'll get my head down tonight. All the loads of parts when I get home. And then when we come back. When we come back we can get the. Um, hopefully get it finished. I can't put the propeller on yet. Because there's a rubber gasket goes. At the top of the sail drive leg. Um and the hole has got to be glued in or bonded in and I forgot it basically it's still hanging up on the wall in my garage so I can bond that next time I come um, and get all that done but apart from that I'll get home, get a shave, have a shower 